English opening, symmetrical, hedgehog defense, 7.d4cxd48.qxd4d6. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 square. The conflict for the e4 square is started with nc3, which controls d5. On the queen's side, c5 occupies a space and has influence over d4. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. e6 allows the f8 bishop to develop and supports the d7 d5 advance. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. This moves the queen to safety. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. Backs off. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. Games master. It is the final book action. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. This permits the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. That's a decent move. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It falls flat. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival knight. That's good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It's alright. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This poses a rook kicking threat. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is a miss. Very precise. It is best. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. 
there is a better way to get a knight to safety than this. It is incorrect. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. This loses material. There was only one good move in that position. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is a blunder. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win material. It is a great move. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That gets you a knight. It is ideal. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. That was a free knight. It is excellent. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well.